Last spring, we planted 12 new apple trees that were bare root. They were planted as whips. And over the last growing season, they did extend leaders and start to branch out. This being March, while the trees are still dormant, I actually need to prune those trees up before the new growing season begins to help them continue to branch out, strengthen up the branches that are there, and develop into productive fruit-bearing trees. There are different methods to prune an apple tree. In other words, you could establish the tree with a central leader, which is what I'm gonna to plan to do for these new trees, or there's more of an open center type pruning system, which is what was used on the older apple trees that were in this orchard previously, which are behind me. I can say that pruning those open center trees is kind of a pain because they're always trying to shoot off new vertical shoots and establish uh, upward growth. So I'm hoping that with these new trees, if I keep a central leader and let the branches come off of that central leader, we'll have less of those upward shoots that have to be pruned off on an annual basis. So I'm hoping it's gonna be a little bit easier to maintain these trees. So this here is one of the older trees, and this is what I mean by open center. We've got these big branches coming out all different ways, but there's no central trunk or central leader up the middle of the tree. What ends up happening is these send off a whole bunch of vertical shoots. Now these trees here have all been pruned already, but I didn't do anything to the young trees yet. So we'll start with this tree here. You can see the top of the whip was right there. We've got some steeply inclined branches here next to that old top. And then we got a few more branches down lower. So what I'm actually gonna do is those really low branches down there, I'm just gonna nip all those off. I don't want those there. These other branches up here, I'll cut back at least halfway and I'll leave one of these as my new leader, probably this one here, and that'll be the highest branch or highest point on this. And we'll see how things grow through the season. I'm gonna start down here. I don't want any branches way down here like this. So I'm just gonna nip, nip these right off. Okay, now we're up to the point where we want to keep branches. I'm gonna take this one back about a third. We'll do the same on this one. And then looking at this, this doesn't look healthy. So we'll take that, we'll take that. And I think this will be the new leader. So I'll snip that there. And then because I want this branch to not be taller than that leader, I'm actually gonna cut it back, way back here. This tree has a lot of branching down here really close to the ground. I'm gonna get rid of all of these really low branches because I don't wanna have branches too close to the ground. Even this is probably lower than I want. So I'm gonna take those. We'll keep this one, I'm gonna cut it back about halfway and over here these three are all really close to vertical so I'm gonna nip that one and gosh it almost looks like this could be a good leader so what I might even do is take this back and I think I'll even do the same over here so we'll hope that this little one will establish itself into a nice leader I'll give it a quick trim and the rest of this will then branch out. The nice thing about starting with whips, again, the original whip top was here, the graft unions down here, there were no branches on this one that was planted last year, is if you don't like how it branched out, you can always trim it all the way back to a whip and start over. The only sacrifice would be a year of growth and therefore a year longer until you get fruit. Some of these trees in this line don't even have very much for lateral branching. In fact, that third one down there is almost all leader. But I'll prune it back and we'll see what develops this year. So I'll work down this line. These are three freedoms and then two snow sweets. What I did previously was liberty. I 
Got some long leaders here. Let's take this back. This is the branchless one pretty much. So I'm actually gonna nip this back here and I'm gonna nip the uh, leader right there. Hopefully that'll branch out this year. This one's got kind of a triple leader going on here. So we'll actually, let's take that off. We'll take this off. And then this leader, we'll trim it back quite a bit side branches I'll take this down pretty far because I want these branches to get stronger and thicker I'm not a fruit tree pruning expert by any stretch, but I took quite a bit off and I'm hoping that that's gonna allow these trees to grow and develop into the shape that I want. That's really what I'm doing. You can recover from anything, you can prune back, things will regrow. So I'm just trying to get these into a nice shape that's gonna bear good fruit.